guys, welcome to Pixel Talk. I am Corbin Stuckey, and tonight I'm here to give you a review on A Force number one. Um, this is another comic that is in the Secret War storyline of Marvel Comics, where the Marvel Universe has died and it has created this new world called Battle World. And in this world, there are different sort of places in this world, different districts. Um, one of them is called Arcadia in this comic, and Arcadia is basically a place where there is civilization, uh, there's like, you know, jobs like doctors and lawyers and stuff like that, and there's a specific team of Avengers called the A-Force, which uh, involves a lot of women. This was actually pretty entertaining. Uh, this is actually the first story that I've read that involves uh, superheroes that we know. This is the only Avengers story in the Secret Wars uh, timeline. I will say that the female demographic will really appreciate it because like there are female characters that are mostly in the comic. And I will say a lot of male pervs are also going to enjoy this as well. I'm going to hell for that one, aren't I? But no, actually, it was actually a pretty um, decent story. I like where it's starting so far. Um, it's them in Arcadia, and they are the female Avengers. And um, it actually shows how much of a douche uh, God Doom is. Uh, so basically what happens is, like, they are fighting, like, a huge shark or whatever. And it's like just, uh, you know, they're trying to save their city. They're trying to, like, you know, keep uh, danger out of the city. And uh, one of the superheroes called Miss America, she throws this shark over the shield, the, the wall that separates um, Battle World and the Marvel Zombies um, from, like, you know, everybody there. And she throws the shark, and apparently she gets in trouble because she's breached the shield or whatever, and the Thor core comes in and takes her away. Uh, and this is like, you know, causing like emotion among the team. They're wondering like, okay, um, why was this shark here? And She-Hulk, uh, she, that was actually really uh, interesting. Uh, She-Hulk is a leader of the team. Uh, it's great seeing She-Hulk in the comic. I haven't actually seen She-Hulk in a while. I think she was in the FF comics, the Fantastic Four comics, I think. Uh, but like, it's good seeing her in an Avengers comic though. There's a lot of female characters that I enjoy that are in here. There's like uh, She-Hulk, there's Spider-Woman, uh, there's Captain Marvel, you know, Carol Danvers. Um, so yeah, it was really good seeing those characters again, having the spotlight on them. Really liked that. Um, and I'm really interested to see where this is going, if there's going to be any resolution, because they just lost um, a pretty cool character. You know, you kind of wonder, like, is this going to be re resolved? But um, yeah, it was definitely a really good read. Um, they, they definitely needed an Avengers storyline uh, for Secret Wars. Um, how I'm feeling about the Secret War tie-in comics, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't know if I really want to review those anymore. If you guys want me to review those still, comment down below and I'll keep on reviewing them. But I think for the most part, I think I'm just going to review Secret Wars, just the main uh, series, uh, the, the event itself. I don't know how I feel about the little tie-in comics. I'm probably just going to review Secret Wars instead. Um, but if you guys want me to keep on doing that, I will. I just need to hear from you guys. So, yeah. If you liked A Force number one, uh, comment down below what you thought of the comic, like the video, share it, and please subscribe to Pixel Talk if you haven't, and like my Facebook page for Pixel Talk, and follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys so much. I am Corbin Stuckey, and this is Pixel Talk.